And then, Dark Bowser disappeared in a fiery explosion. We don't know where he went, but I sure hope he never comes back. <sighs> I don't mind telling you that it was the most nerve-wracking battle of our lives. We had fought harder than any other time. And we thought, this is it. We can do this. And we did. Using the power of our friendship and love and the trust we had for one another. Twilight and our friends were able to use the elements of harmony to stop Dark Bowser. With a lot of help from us, of course. He was a team effort after all. The next few days, we decided to take a nice, well-earned rest. After all, we worked extremely hard. But just as we were about to start our celebration, we had gotten word of something our ears just could not believe. Apparently, there were lots of other resistance groups around the world. And they too were putting up valiant struggles against Dark Bowser's tyranny. Unfortunately, they did not fare very well against Dark Bowser's mighty forces. And they were soon wiped out. One of those groups was led by Dry Bowser, Bowser's cousin. We were shocked to learn that he did not survive the war. Bowser has not taken the news very well. Peach has temporarily left the castle to try her best to comfort Bowser in, in his difficult time. We were also told that our two little Yoshi friends were in another resistance group. Unfortunately, they also did not survive. Yoshi, our friend, was devastated when he heard the news. And it gets even worse than that. We also heard that our friends, Eagle and Pumpkin, were leading another resistance group against CG and his band of Dark Bowser followers. CG and his followers were defeated and driven out. But Eagle and Pumpkin, we are told that they did not survive either. We also heard that Walter, Toadella, and Yellow Toad are still out desperately trying to find Captain Toad and Red Toad. Walter is starting to think they should call off the search, but Todella refuses to give up and leads the group onward. <sighs> I only hope they find Captain Toad and Red Toad alive and well. And as for Nine Tails, uh, we haven't heard much, but last we heard, she's still out trying to find her mate, Francis. And basically, that's it. Wow, that is one crazy story. Mm -hmm. Still, I am so grateful and relieved you guys were able to defeat that evil fiend, Dark Bowser. Mm -hmm. oh, I, for one, could not stand living in terror any longer. Mm -hmm. Just remember, it took a lot, and I mean a lot, to finally defeat Dark Bowser. Mm. I will never forget what you told me here today. Mm -hmm. And everybody I meet, I will tell this story to. Mm -hmm. <sighs> that would be great. Yes, honey? We're all set to get started. 
All right, I'll be right there. Huh? What's going on? Mm -hmm. We've decided to get together and honor those who did not survive Dark Bowser's tyranny. Mm. I will join you. All right, right this way. For us, the storm has passed. The war is over. But let us never forget those who journeyed into the howling dark and did not return. They were our friends, our allies. Innocent people willing to put their lives on the line for what they believed was right. Dark Bowser left us a big mess to clean up. But together, we can handle anything. History has proven that time and time again. Many of our good friends, they did not deserve the fates they were presented. In fact, none of them did. Dry Bowser, Eagle, Pumpkin, Pink Yoshi, Yellow Yoshi. So many people gone just like that. But their sacrifice will not be in vain. As we continue to rebuild, we do it in their name. <sighs> Dry Bowser. He was the best cousin ever. <sighs> I swear to you, cousin. If Dark Bowser ever returns, I will rip him to pieces with my bare claws. We hereby plant this monument in their honor. This antique globe will remind everyone who sees it that we are stronger together. And that there is no distance too vast for friendships to exist. Everybody, we were going to celebrate our victory. Let's do so for them. For our friends who did not survive. <sighs>